Hey guys, RTG here, back with some more humankind. We are losing. Hey, but we are losing less than we were losing before last week. You know why? Because we won arguably the most underdog victory and we have like a quarter of a continent now yeah okay so the indians i don't recall if i don't think they were the indians when the war started i'm listening i yeah i think they were the zulu at the time the people that gave us christianity and then became atheists and atheism is spreading. Huh. Do we... We are now technically the religious leader of Christianity. I did want Crystal Redentor, but... Someone took it during my... Hu well, the Indians took it during my hubris. Because I went... I picked up Congress of Humankind, obvious pick, and then I picked up the stadium when I should have pushed for Crystal Redentor so I could have gotten more faith out, more faith output, but I haven't seen, or at least I don't remember seeing where these guys put down Crystal Redentor. I saw um, this. St. Basil's Cathedral and I believe we should have the Forbidden City somewhere but as one of my qualms with this game it doesn't really do a good job showing you where stuff are anyway we are the Singaporeans in the contemporary era and we are approaching the end game what we are trying to do now is see how much we can do trains we are trying to see how much we can minimalize our losses yeah this is I don't think I've ever properly acknowledged the train networks it goes down here our roads are now at least somewhat um, paved and yeah we have a whole train network going on um right should at least next turn well I should put a demilitarization over here gonna get a lot of should get at least a decent amount of leverage on those guys aerodrome finish here pollution is ramping up I think yeah we're making 63 pollution a turn I think at this point our war game we don't have much we don't plan to do much in terms of actual like fighting but for defense I want to pick up a few more planes these planes I want I don't think oh Darn it. An airstrike there is going to hit my stuff. Which includes the Palace of Versailles. I don't want to. You get to live another day, sadly. Okay, do we have any more aerodromes close by? I think I'll put 
one of these guys back on air patrol so we can see anybody coming do we did we get an aerodrome done down here no I would like one uh, should I take More food from farmers. Okay. I want to get this done and some planes pooped out. I think I may also want an aerodrome over here. I don't know how how aerial combat works if we are like at war trying to it trying to attack a city okay. I think we're doing a bunch of holidays over here to boost faith on something I think we had that is a scriptorium oh we have an uh, Nimaton, which I believe I don't think that this counts as a holy site. It is a religious district though. Did we have I don't think we had any holy sites over there. Our holy site was down here, right? In a now mostly Which is now 90% atheist. It's alright. So we were trying to get some. Wow, this pagoda is already up to 30 faith. And we are still struggling. Can I get it's cheaper to buy an aerodrome? Okay, so aerodrome, holiday, planes. This city, the one that has done us some good. You built a garrison, you're gonna get a lot in terms of of our stability oh these guys finally have ironclads what do I want per state religion follower uh, cities on ter territories under your influence and this is food so I guess for this city we want to do some more influential stuff which <sighs> everything is a mess did anyone ever tell you how ugly you are I'm sorry, but no deal is better than a bad deal. <sighs> See, the issue is we are already so far behind with everything. We are currently just trying, we're trying to push for some sort of not necessarily victory but we are pushing for mm, at least seventh place granted the game may end before that point okay, 
this city I think work on just bettering some of this stuff that should hold you a while over here I want the Empire State done Just quickly scanning to see if there are any city-states around that I can get under my influence. But I'm not seeing any. Fuse. I don't know what we have, but it's probably better than shifting to what they have. have a plane completed here I am not seeing oh never mind there's a bunch of these guys all of which are gonna die next turn 52 combat strength a bunch of guys Okay, these guys can attack at full strength when they're in melee, but that doesn't protect them. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, still fairly decisive in their favor. But I'll take you off of air patrol for a turn. Really need next turn with you guys. Uh, have an aerodrome prepared here so these guys are now exposed well we have a plane there so we're gonna need another plane one that can actually go on the offensive growth and I guess fertilizer you aren't going to benefit well you may benefit in a while from that I'm trying to come up with a reason for you not to be really really jealous um, no luck so far. New crisis vote. Authorize trade of goods even in a dom in a dom even in a diplomatic state of war. Um, authorize trade of goods with allies only. Prevents the spread of other empires. Sphere of influence from non allied territories. I think right now, I think right now, most of the influence comes from an ally, other than this territory, but it is expanding currently to us, but quickly to the Ethiopians so I guess isolationalism isn't going to help but for e I am technically already leaning 
rather heavily to a homeland stance. Authorized trade of goods, even when in a diplomatic state of war. Granted, we don't really... At this point, friendships are kind of already established. So if we aren't trading with them already, I don't think we're going to be trading with them again. So... If that is the case, I think... I'll settle with isolation, isolationalism. And as we have previously established, I have the most say. Okay. Ooh. Um. Influence, this is just five faith. Nah, I'm gonna stick with what I have. Legitimacy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Codified laws. I, I should have swapped over to that a while ago. You're at the end of an ideology axis? Well, there's something to be said. What do we have? The only thing we have outstanding is our stance on irreligion. Um, enact the choice religious hostility under the religious tolerance. Yes, this is religious tolerance. We are open minded. This. I think we can switch off of this because influence on territories if territories follow your state religion. We don't have. Oh, cannot be cancelled because another civic requires it. So, taxed minorities, uh, money on territories if following a foreign religion. Can cancel that, cancel this, I guess. I don't think you'll go down in history as Ivan the Tolerant. Uh, okay, so I guess this should unlock next turn. This enact the multiculturalism in cultural blessing, which we have, and successfully besiege a city containing an emblematic water, which we have not. And I doubt we will do. Uh, create a new city in a new world, which I don't think we're go I don't think we're able to do at this point. I think all our cities are established, and unless no, we have yeah, we have a, a city on every continent, which would mean that we have wherever they decide the old well. We don't have one over here. So unless this is for some reason the new world, which I doubt, we have everything for this. Autocracy in the political combat strength on M combat strength on militia. Or combat strength on emblematic units. So if we are to pick an autocracy or the political 
enact the choice autocracy in either the political entitlement civic or the political influence civic have at least 50 population in your empire have researched centralized power this can get us more money over time uh, minus emblematic district or wonder costs buyout costs unit buyout costs or district buyout costs secret police neighborhood watch people's assembly secret police stability on commons quarters food on farmers stability production delay 100% delay between two crises uh, none of these seem 10% uh, additional fame gain bonus multiplier Ooh, okay so this is unknown choice so fame bonus war support equilibrium gain grievance against empires completing nuclear tests or detonating nuclear bombs or unlocks the f the fission tests i think we may get we may go for the fame bonus uh this is between nationalism or imperialism earn at least seven military stars since the beginning of the game don't know how many we have but i guess it's not seven have at least nine makers quarters and have a city with a factory stability on makers quarters gold on makers quarters and delay between two city crises independent people spawn in city or outpost um authorize trade of goods with allies only prevent Okay, so this is the one that came up a while ago, which is you are unlocked by earning at least five merchant stars since the beginning of the game and meet every empire. Oh, I guess we haven't actually gotten that many merchant stars. Okay, you guys, those guys are gone, so you can go on alert. You guys... How are we standing? Perhaps we have some common ground. Your heathen ways sow only chaos. Move toward light. Have you no shame? At this point? Probably not. Uh, we die. We're trading for all your resources. So I don't necessarily want what? to attack you. Could you want? Such transgression cannot be simply. Such transgression. There is a penalty to be paid. Your heathen ways so only chaos. Move toward light. <laughs> um. Sadly, it's not. It's a bunch of money, and they convert to Christianity. And if they do, they will probably become the the religious leaders. Which. Honestly, may not be that bad. Uh, international crises. You dare come to me now? There is a penalty to be paid. Your heathen ways so only chaos. Move toward light. You have unlocked the Research Institute. It will not merely provide additional answers, but open up a whole range of ever more perplexing questions. Okay. I believe that that was... Was it? Was that not the completion of a symposium? Have we not completed said symposium? Because I'm pretty sure we did. 
Oh, it was 13 turns away. Can we knock out like the quickest of Mako's quarters? Okay, that's at least a turn. Remnants of other fates. We can start an inquisition. Uh, sacrifice population to increase stability, or we could banish people and sacrifice a population. Sacrifice a population for money. Don't really care either way. Just want to do. If you're going to go for economic domination of the world, the Empire State Building will provide the offices to plan and execute it. Okay. Empire State, which I believe is the last wonder left. Uh, money generated from ongoing trade on all cities. It really was a last pick because we don't have that much. You are the last person I want to see. Fairness must be restored. Don't really you have that much trade going belong. on. Make it right now. International crisis vote to happen. could push it next turn, and they give me what well, looks like two territories and a bunch of gold. Yeah, I, I could work with that. Okay, you guys are pushing for science. We have three Naito. Uh. I don't see a symposium here, so I guess. Okay, more science per research and research slots. We don't have. Uh, we don't have much in the way of research or well, we don't have all research or slots capped, and I don't see much in the way of research quarters. Like we have a few, so. Overall, 10% science and an additional 6 due to the amount of night that we have. That, that I can work with. And that is my timer going off. Okay, so... Yeah, work on that for 6 turns. Let's wrap up this turn. And then... We wrap up the episode. Okay. So we are a we are who are you for you guys can we not Oh, that's we don't have the ability to. I thought you you just got it by default. I was wrong. Okay, there is a prowler, so we need some combat strength on whatever unit we pick up. Sp spy master. Why do I feel like we have something stronger than spy master? I guess Musketeer is probably the strongest thing we have and we use these and pick up like this spear influence all over the place okay child soldiers following our liberation of Valen Vel Velns not that sounds that name seems very familiar and very on okay following the liberation of the city our forces have made a horrifying discovery amongst the local soldiers were vast number amongst the local soldiers were vast numbers of children conscripted and forced 
often brutally, to fight, to scout, to cook, or to clean. Many were near feral in their violence, and others terribly traumatized, welcoming these broken young souls back into society and granting them better lives as they so eat as they so entirely deserve will not be easy what would be the most effective and most understanding method to do so we can fund it so we get science or we get straight up population what's a pop like we can use more um We can use more, but do we need more pop as opposed to what is that like? Additional 30 science? Yeah. 30 science works. Um, there was a holy day done here. Seems weird considering we don't have much in terms of. Nope, that's an administrative center. Don't have much in terms of religious buildings over there. We don't have much in terms of religious buildings anywhere. Ooh, you are struggling for food. It's 12, 12. Bap, bap, bap. Bap. Industry isn't the best, but it works. You guys, what's so well? Yes, greetings. I hope you don't mind if I stare. This proposition should be in all oh our my best God. interests. You can knock out a few of these for the influence and stability. Okay, refitting the stage is for this city, who is currently on a heavy production of nature reserves. And give them extra money, extra influence. This says. This is cheerleading, which is influence on the empire, 10%. This is stability on districts for, I guess, the city. And this is just 10% money in the city, so. Okay. I guess... I guess that is just Empire Empire. Which is sadly already too far gone. And that is a diplomatic Hi, star earned. From one leader to another. This proposition should be in all our best interests. 
can I? Speak and make it fast. Cancerous world. <laughs> Greetings, sovereign. Are you with me? I will not speak and make it quick. Someone will be. I am a bully. Okay. No demands. All the demands. All. Yo. These guys already supported us. Anyway. Right. Timer went off. Um, and I next turned at least twice. So. You guys can look down at. You guys can look down at the timer and realize how many minutes additionally I went over. But I have no idea. But. I've been RTG, you've been you. Peace, love, and tranquility to all of you. I'll see you on Friday.